गुड मॉर्निंग गाइस एंड टुडे और हेलो गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग एंड टुडे और टॉपिक इज सॉफ्ट कंप्यूटिंग सिस्टम एंड दैट इज द फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन और द कंपैरिजन बिटवीन बिटवीन कन्वेंशनल कंट्रोल सिस्टम एंड द मॉडर्न कंट्रोल सिस्टम और यू मे से द एडवांस कंट्रोल सिस्टम because soft computing system is built with a uh, only the advanced control system so uh, you all know in the conventional manual control system is just depends on a normal control strategies is that is uh, mostly on the uh, uh, feedback control loop and that, uh, there is some uh, cascade loop cascade control loop etc etc there but mean the mainly the operation is in control operation i am saying that control operation not the control scheme control operation is executed by a manual invention a manual intervention and uh, it is the basic is drawbacks of the conventional control system because everything is done but whenever the human intervention are there or we may uh, depends on the human intervention and say uh, operator depends on operator then our control will process became uh, so or delay because the, uh, there is no options is there uh, to the controller uh, that it uh, directly the perform a work without the feedback from the operator or the operation of the operator so you know so uh, you can see that this is a control strategy a control scheme or uh, here you can see is the control scheme that is the uh, adaptation scheme and this is a main control system that is defines mean input is there uh, adjustable controller is also there this is the summing point or the or the checking point and then it is going to the the plant and there is a from plant the from the plant the performance is also measured and from this performance this is and and feedback also uh, sent to the uh, the main master controller and it is also sent to the 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 local controller so this is the uh, this is the main things this is the main things okay and we know uh, this is done in uh, today also in so many industries is running on this uh, scheme in uh, mainly in the uh, harness uh, mainly the uh, where the oats are melted it in this cases we are uh, seeing this performance but nowadays if the world is so uh, going faster and so we have to uh, take some changes that's why we are adapting in some um, automatic control automatic controls means there is some local based control and there is is some microcontroller which is the the master controller so this is the scheme first scheme was taken adopted to the modernization of this uh, conventional process is that is the automated automation adaptation the first time the automation was not fully fully automated means there was a local controller is there and the master controller is there but the main decision making in uh, ability was under the certain program or or the mainly handled with the manager or the works manager okay uh, so the first cases in the normal very very preliminary cases though it was automated but it was as confined in a localized area very small area they can control okay not a uh, large area or the total plant was not controlled by the automation but after some uh, few days a few years there was a, another controller it is introduced the small small plc and then it was coming to the large plc okay and uh, it was also advanced level going to the the dcs level okay distributive control system and scada also there so the operator or the the uh, who is a uh, manager which who is uh, seated at the, the control room he can operate
moderate thought he can control total process as within a in a uh, in a, in his mouth okay uh, by his uh, only one finger finger tips and it is uh, it is the your mouth it was up to that it was as uh, called in the modern control system but till now we can't speak we can say that is the advanced level uh, control system or the decision making yeah. hello hello anyone have you any question then you may ask me okay so uh, whenever uh, till now plc dcs it has no decision making capability okay so this is going to under the mid, uh, mediocre stage means this is under the modern control system but whenever you looking for the advanced control system just like a robot just like a drone on uh, this type of control system you need to uh, achieve some uh, decision making capacity or uh, decision making capability within the controller this things is provided by this things is provided by uh, uh, artificial net, uh, neural network deep learning process etc okay so uh, we can see the three uh, stage of our control system first control system was done by uh, uh, this this is done by uh, it was the conventional control system it was done by controller and but the controller and output is depends on the human intervention and partly not fully that is partly human intervention is there only the only the the process value and set point value they can and meet the process value and the set point value not uh, more than that okay but whenever we go for the the advanced uh, sorry modern uh, control system and it is quite advanced as look here some controller is introduced to you who in your automation classes uh, you have seen there is some uh, different different stages are there and the controlling action or the brain action and controlling action done by the, your the plc or the local controller all in a all in a uh, all over industry it may be produced it may be introduced a dcs distributive control system so in this cases look this is dcs cid controller this is a very uh, unit level zero level because it is localized plant it is fully controlled it can control the plant okay then it is going going to the model predictive control mpc okay and then it is real time optimization and it is the planning and schedule it is the higher level okay but how it is working first when uh, i am uh, um, in a previous um, section and i uh, told you about the tesla car okay so tesla car is one type of model predictive control uh, action strategies are taken in this cases okay so in this cases plus first planning and scheduling is there first say uh, if there is a turning they are taking some um, um, direction or uh, taking some strategy okay first it was, it was planned and it was as programmed to the controller then it is it is taking making the decision by the real time optimization you actually there is a three or four or way is there but which way uh, among the three ways which uh, route or which path it should follow it is done by the optimization optimization means you have to choose among a very you have to choose one among very uh, things so there is a mainly uh, you can say there is a three path you have to choose which path i should follow then this uh, this things is done by the real time optimization and this is uh, that and then the model predictive control then if you choose the one path then how could you follow means uh, what will you work will you run or uh, just will you um, swim this type of real predictive control action is done by the model mpc control then it will uh, this decision this uh, decision will send to the dcs or the pid controller then it will uh, it will control the various 
blades, various valves, various motors. Then uh, uh, according to this controlling, in the ultimate body will move from one to another part. Okay, say I am, uh, I am just giving you one example for this. Uh, otherwise, it, it will not be. Look, here is a here is a banking. Okay, one card is coming. One card is coming. Okay. it need to coming in this way how he come it come in this way it may be come in this way or it may be come directly in this way so this is one this is two and this is three this is three okay so i am uh, giving the road limitation here is the road limitation. Here is the road limitation. Okay, this is the middle of this road. So, this card may be choose three ways. First is one, two, three. Okay, and this is the another way. You can say this is the four. Okay, so in the modern or adaptive control, first what happens? First planning and scheduling was there. So first in the programming, there is a programming thing we have done. Some programming. The how would we how would we achieve the banking? This is programming one, programming one, programming, programming two, programming three, etc. Okay. In this programming, programming one follow the path one, programming two follow the path two, programming three follow the path three. Okay. But how could you reach this middle point or the safe journey? Look, in this safe journey, we have to choose among four. Look, here one is not follow, just following the path number one. Three is just apart from this path number, uh, this direction. This is the main set point value. This is the set point. Say, uh, this is the set point. Middle uh, stamp is there. This is the four. This is the very shortcut way. So in this way, first we have to optimize. How could we optimize? If there is a no obstacle is there, no obstacle is there, then you suddenly go to the uh, path number two because this is the safe journey. But say there is some obstacle is there for the path number two. Okay or it, it may be obstacle is there so you you couldn't follow the path number one and path number two either you have to choose path number four or you have to path number three look here is also obstacle is there then we have to choose the path number four so this path number four this path number four which is the it is it is choose because here is some obstacle maybe another card is there here is also another card is here. If there is card, so you can choose this is two. There is also a, another card. Uh, it is also sensed by this card. So you can't choose the path number three because then you will get some obstacle. So path number one is here and path number four is there. Now the safe zone, it is sensed that it path number four is there uh, because path number one also uh, close to the obstacle. Here, there, there is obstacle, there is obstacle. So say here is obstacle so we have to choose this path number four so this is called the optimization so real time optimization is done by the level two okay then model predictive control if you choose this way you can see there is some turning is there here is some some turning is there uh, here is some angle is there here is some angle is there so you have to choose which angle you have to follow at the time so t once again say uh, yes, T one second. If you if you choose this part number four, so you can see that is T one second. You have to get thirty degree angle, thirty degree angle. And if you go for the T two second, then you get 
also ten degree angle, then you have to go for the fifth fifth position, and then you you have to go for the forty degree angle. Then you can get, then you get only get it uh, from this point and to this point. And speed is say this is speed. Look here, speed is something. Here speed is something. Here is speed is is different because here banking is maximum. So here speed should be say t one second. Here speed should be uh, say forty kilometer per hour. Uh, here uh, speed should be low. That is twenty kilometer per hour. Again, it will get the straight line. Then again, we can achieve if this forty. Kilometer per hour. In this way, this is the this is the model particle control. Because if I choose the model number four, then we have to choose in this way. Then we can cover this banking taking safe zone. Then once we uh, restore this program program number four, say we restore this program number four, then we our automatic car will uh, follow this 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 point. Then it will just send to the DCS or the TDF PID controller. Then it will follow the which car and which which uh, wheel should follow and where we have to get at some angle. In this way, our modern predictive control is done. Look, in in this case also some decision making capability also done here. But our normal model, normal modern. And control system. There was only PLC and DCS. They can perform. So PLC and DCS in the advanced control level, they are coming in the zero position. Okay, zero level. But the modern control system. This is the main control. This is coming at the the uh, level number one. So in this way, our uh, conventional control system and the modern control system are different. So I think. Uh, if You became aware of uh, these two type of control system, and now if we go for the, if we go for the advanced control system, look, if uh, this is also advanced control system, quite advanced control system, because uh, in this case the decision making capability are taken here. But if we go for the uh, today's latest advanced control system, you can take the example of drone. Look, drone has uh, more more or efficiency. Just like image processing, it can it can detect the image. I will say the image processing. In uh, it will detect the tra travel route, everything. Okay, and medical science. They are also the modern and advanced control system are coming. So so advanced control system are equipped it with uh, generally uh, various things. That is first. It is it is coming artificial neural network. This is very very uh, uh, very important attend part, or you may say this is the backbone of uh, artificial intelligence. Okay, uh, not only for your robotics or hardware uh, or hardware performance. This is also very much demandable in for your business analysis. But whenever you go for any YouTube video or any AI uh, machine, ML, sorry, machine learning, uh, artificial intelligence, deep learning, this type of course, you you think that is mainly deals with hardware? No, this is not not only deals with hardware. This is maximum times you can get it. That is deals with the business analysis. What is the uh, behavior of the customer? What is the de uh, demand of this customer? They can analysis, and in this way, uh, the next time they produce their wanted end product. Uh, that is the main and motto of the uh, this analysis. But uh, as an engineer, we are generally deals with the hardware application. First, I want to say that there is some um, 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 topic in your module. That is uh, module two and module three. It is deals with the fuzzy logic control system. Uh, guys, this fuzzy logic control system is is uh, the syllabus is decorated in this way. The uh, that is available generally in your MATLAB. The fuzzy logic tool, fuzzy loop, uh, uh, fuzzy rule base, etc. All are available in your MATLAB. So uh, uh, in this way, you can get this. Or there is so many software is there, but MATLAB uh, uh, because the uh, syllabus was decorated in this way. 
and uh, uh, something little bit about uh, about it is coming artificial network that is coming module one uh, sorry module one and module two module three and module four are fuzzy logic okay and uh, our principal sir is taking um, uh, module number five maybe maybe and then again module six is deals with is all the topics which is uh, directly related to the hardware model so if you uh, actually we are just taking um, we are learning in our theoretical part but if we if we go for the uh, practical part then we can also uh, deal with some raspberry pi i uh, some uh, other iot devices and then you can get the uh, this artificial neural network there is so many uh, uh, parts of the artificial network neural network just like whenever you are going for a robot a robot design and then you can apply this or not only for robot design you can take any project which is uh, which is related to the artificial network neural network in this way you can learn so many things about this uh, so uh, i think some control strategy also you have learned in the automation studies uh, i uh, you have seen the feed forward control system the artificial net neural network is deals with this feed, uh, feed forward control system and then it's became feed forward neural network model okay so there is so many uh, classification of artificial ne neural network i want i want to just introduce you uh, for today then as per the syllabus i will uh, go for the details and uh, i wish to show you some uh, new uh, iot project then you can see okay and then uh, radial basic neural network Ma uh, another is multi layer or uh, perception model uh, another is convol convolution neural network convolution means just folding okay uh, uh, in uh, in convolution theory um, uh, whenever uh, in your dsp you have seen there is some convolution theorem fourier series uh, another so here is also the neural network is applied here and it became the convolution neural network modular ne neural network it is done by the uh, different different module okay then recurrent neural network and sequence to sequence neural network this is the various part of the neural network means artificial neural network so ai artificial intelligence is based on this base. hello 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 anyone want to say something uh, uh, this is artificial neural network and this is based on the uh, artificial neural uh, artificial intelligence is based on the neural network okay and in this way we can achieve this uh, now uh, what is artificial neural network so you can see there is lots of of neurons is there this, this is the neurons just biological neurons this are the node this is the input and this is the hidden hidden maybe two three four layers and there then it is coming the output output node then uh, how this is working look in the input node you can put some input quantities or input signal then this this path is just multiplied by some weightage okay then it is coming to the node and here there is summation is done summation means here is comparison basically comparison then it will transfer to the next path okay and some feedback is coming here so this is the main action of the neural network now i am going to give you some i am going to give you some uh, uh, real time example you can see uh, guys uh, hope you can see this slide anyone uh, could you please answer this yes sir okay uh, you can see uh, that how could i recognize from a two picture this is the dog and this is the cat okay so look you can see if i put some input of input characteristics of a face picture of a dog then neural network controller
then it will detect yes it is dog or if i put some uh, features of a cat and uh, then it will uh, uh, just i uh, i input a picture of a cat i don't say any features just cat it will just diagnostic this uh, just uh, if i change the slide you yes you can see how this is working just this is working this is yes this is dog you can just see this slide in this way we can achieve uh, in this way neural network is working now i will explain just uh, watch and try to understand i will explain it guys say how neural network is working if you understand this working procedure of this neural network then it will be, uh, uh, you became fond of this neural network artificial intelligence then uh, you can learn it with your own intention say in this picture you can see there is so many features are there there is the first quality there is the first means uh, here uh, there is the eye there is a, some nodes uh, there is some um, uh, ears is there so here is the three nodes are there in this note uh, uh, guys i am saying the practical uh, broadly practically the bo broadly the working procedure not mathematical representation okay mathematical representation is, is if i say then the weightage summation is coming but abrupt, broadly i am speaking so that you can understand look in this case say there is some uh, it is the input and this is the input put node in this node say this node is only checking the eye this node is checking only the nose and this node is checking only the ear of a animal so i am putting some uh, two characters of uh, maybe it may be more character that maybe dog cat uh, cow many things whenever it is checking this node only deals with say this is for ear it is taking the ear so whenever it checking the ear it will some multi it takes only the small photograph of section of this ear then it will uh, amplify this and send this hidden model this is the hidden model hidden model it is going to this model it, and every this picture is amplified and then it will send every hidden model the next layer look it is look here is going one two three four every model every node it will send this message this model will just check whether it is right and which model is taking say this hidden model is checking this is for cow this is for dog this is for cat and this is maybe for an, uh, another way any uh, maybe for elephant whenever ear is enlarged at a certain point and same to this say this is deals with only dog so you can see only this will node will detect that this ear is coming from a dog then it will send the next next level here it is say this is uh, checking only the eye so it will just take the uh, picture of the eye and after detection it will amplify it and send it to the every every point the message because this is a message we don't know the particular things so it will send everyone it will only deal with the ear not deal with the uh, uh, the eye so it will not send any message for the output and this is for uh, say this is for dog this is for a uh, cat this is for the cow this is for the the elephant so but this model this node is only checking the eye look this will get yes this is this is quite comparable with some um dog or maybe some cat also there so it will send two messages first one here first one here whenever it is getting thing it is over then it will change uh, uh, i and that then it is coming to the for the nose it will take the only the portion of the nose and it will detect uh, multiply it or the magnify it 
and then it will send to every layer. Say this model is checking and checking for uh, only for the uh, nose. Okay, so it will checking the nose. Okay, but this is checking uh, nose only. Okay, but it will check that is no. This is uh, the no, uh, nose of the the dog. It will send again the message next to layer. Okay, and it will say another thing, or it will may say checking for the any dog or any anything. No, this is nothing is coming, so it will not uh, say uh, send uh, the zero message. Okay, then output will decide. Yes, this model is coming in um, ninety percent of dog and ten percent of cat because uh, we are matching something. It is ten percent on cat, but as these two is comparing, which one is better? Look, here is the dog portion. Dog, uh, this portion is coming for the dog. Uh, both are coming for the dog. So this is the ninety percent. Then it will say this is the dog picture of dog. Okay. Say once again, if I if I say look one by checking, then it is coming, and this is a yes. This is coming dog. They are checking so many things. In this way, we can detect a photography, and neural network work like in the, in this way. This is a comparison strategy. But here you can see the hidden hidden layer is only one. But in our uh, practice, you can see lots of hidden layer is there. Now I am going for the next slide. How this is possible? Actually, this model is only going for the checking purpose, just like a filtering purpose. Okay, they are filtering something, which is for the cat, which is for the, if I put some dog, then it will be a dog. If we put some cat, picture of cat, then it will be the cat. Okay, and uh, guys, have you any question regarding this? If no, sir. Okay, hope you can understand. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, if you get it, then I request you in your project. Uh, you are in six M. Please try in your project some IRT based project because our uh, future generation it will fully dependent on this deep learning. Uh, artificial neural network artificial intelligence it is coming the artificial neural network etc so if we go for or this study then in your in your advanced level we can easily um, compete with our uh, challenges okay so uh, this is my request so that from uh, only you can get uh, hardly one year so if you start at IoT, Raspberry Pi, etc. from now, then uh, in your project, you can easily perform any IoT level project or deep learning based project. I am not saying to make a robot, uh, fully automated robot, advanced level robot, but, but parts of robot and parts of robotics analysis can be done easily and lots of uh, projects are doing here. Then you can uh, take the beauty of uh, these things. Uh, okay, and guys, I am mm, just going to the. Uh, you can. I think um, you you became on uh, quite uh, essence of this. What is advanced control level and what is our motivation? And now, mm, and uh, guys, you have to go beyond your syllabus because your syllabus is customized syllabus. Okay. But if you want to go deeply and particular doing one thing, one particular uh, emphasize on one particular thing, then you can achieve a good position. Okay. Uh, now, this is the types of neural network. First is feed forward ne neural network. Uh, I told you something. Uh, just give a few feed forward. Uh, uh, you, in your automation classes, I told you the fit forward control system. Fit forward means is the once I giving some reference, but something is again at the forward moment. 
means after doing something we are giving some input or giving some um, um uh, value added value to at the forward so that at the process should be uh, get it its uh, set point value very quickly so first we have to need to make the the uh, deficit of this process then this deficit it is we are feeding in it at the forward level that it is called the feed forward and this whole feed forward what is the necessity or what is the deficit it will detected by the neural network then this uh, system became feed forward neural network system so uh, i think you can understand how one by one control system became advanced by the artificial neural network also uh, there is so application of the fuzzy logic system and another another, another topology also there radial basic neural network is a simple thing then multi layer just you have seen in convolution it is a, it is a folding means so many layers is there it will be folded that's it became the convolution means same things are are coming rapidly and then it will just as squeeze it then it became convolution then modular network one by modules small small slave a uh, slave and master control system is there just like this neural network modular and this is recurrent again it is recurrent means it coming again and again again and then sequence to sequence is it is depends on every special special sequence and then we will we'll optimize the the needable sequence then it is became the sequence to sequence model for the neural network in this way neural network are defined and in different classes so hope uh, we will learn the uh, this deep learning process and guys if you have any question you may ask me and uh, um, one thing 